Law enforcement agencies around the world are under constant pressure to control the movement of criminal chemical substances more efficiently. This has led to a growing demand for detection equipment that is quick and easy to use, low cost to produce and maintain, and with the flexibility to identify a range of different substances. Cranfield University have collaborated on the development of CrimTrack, a prototype mechanical sniffer dog, with the potential to make scenes like these a thing of the past. It can detect illegal drugs and explosives and the chemicals used to make them within seconds and without the need to touch them. It works by sniffing the air to detect the vapours given off by the chemicals. The machine is loaded with a microchip printed with pre-selected dyes representing a range of known substances. Using a technique known as colorimetric sensing, these dyes will undergo colour changes if exposed to vapours from the corresponding chemical. Originating from research at the Technical University of Denmark, CrimTrack has been developed and tested by a multi-agency project team supported by European Union funding. Dr. Leecher Dossi, a chemist and senior research fellow at Cranfield's Centre for Defence Chemistry, first heard about the project in early 2011. I met Dr. Mog Jakobsen from uh, DTU Nanotech at the first European conference on the detection of explosives in Avignon, France. We discussed his research on a prototype microchip with the potential to mechanically sniff and identify a wide range of chemical substances. He wanted to develop the technology into a portable and easy to use detector that would provide customs officers, police and other authorities with an effective tool to track the presence and movement of criminal substances. Cranfield is one of a small number of universities in Europe that has licenses to handle both explosives and drugs. This, together with Leach's interest in DTU's research, made them an ideal choice for collaboration. In January 2014, Cranfield became one of seven partners on the project. Their role is centred around the testing of the sniffer prototypes developed by the partners and also on the provision of specific synthetic dyes for the microchip. As well as researching different methods to generate the samples for the prototype experiments, we were also asked to provide specific substances for testing. These included common explosives, the chemicals that can be used to make homemade explosives, illicit drugs and the chemicals that are known to be used in their manufacture. In addition, Cranfield also synthesized specific smart dyes for the colorimetric microchips. In 2014, Cranfield arranged and hosted the first of a number of detection trials. The results were promising and 34 substances were successfully identified. From these, a matrix of the results was gathered, which went on to enable the creation of the first database. The demonstration of the ability of the first prototype, known as Wellington, to detect and identify named substances provided the foundation to develop two further prototypes. Cranford arranged and hosted trials with both White Horse in 2015 and Warden in 2017. As the machine sniffs, the airflow is passed across the microchip. Any colour changes to the dyes on the microchip are captured in a series of images, which are then analysed. All three CrimTrack prototypes work on the same technology, but each is smaller and lighter than its predecessor. As you can see, by 2017 the technology has been developed to fit into a compact, user-friendly and portable housing with the benefit of wireless communication for remote operation. Potentially, the simultaneous use of multiple devices means large areas can be searched quickly and without the requirement for extensive user training. The ability to program the chip with as many dyes as required, but as few as possible, means the search can be targeted on just one or several substances. Also, the sniffer could be adapted to new scenarios, such as nuclear, nervine gases or other threats, by changing the dyes in the microchip. The CrimTrap project has specifically focused on areas where there is a growing safety risk to society, and following Cranford's work, the prototypes went on to be tested by law enforcement agencies in Holland, Lithuania and Denmark. It was also demonstrated at DSTL Fort Halstead. The benefits for its use at locations such as airports and border inspection stations are clear to see. But the technology it uses can also be applied in areas such as food production, manufacturing processes and environmental monitoring, to name but a few. 
It is hoped that Crimtrack will be commercially available in 2020, but in the meantime, the current breed of sniffer dog will continue to be a familiar sight at airports and border checkpoints around the world.